Welcome to Lair the Alchemist, where we discuss all things heavy metal and hard rock. On today's episode, let's discuss Thin Lizzy's Black Rose, a rock legend. This was the ninth studio album from Thin Lizzy, and it was released in 1979. This album is notable for having Gary Moore join the band here on guitar alongside Scott Gorham. We have... Uh, we have on drums Brian Downey, and of course, uh, we have the legendary Phil Linet on bass guitar and lead vocalist. Lead vocals, one of the uh, one of my favorite uh, '70s vocalists. I always dug Phil's vocal style. He had sort of more of a lower mid range, lower uh, bassy type voice, which I always thought was really cool. Uh, also, Jimmy Bain makes an appearance on bass guitar on this album, the song With Love. And Huey Lewis plays some harmonica on Sarah in With Love. And I didn't know this, Mark Nosef drums on the song Sarah, says it's uncredited here on the record. Uh, this, uh, I'm a big Thin Lizzy fan, of course, and uh, this might be my favorite Thin Lizzy record, depending on uh, when you talk to me. I love the production on this. Tony Visconti produces it with the band. I think it has a really uh, punchy sound to it. You can really hear the bass and the guitars just have a really great sound to them. I love the guitar playing on this record, adding Gary Moore, who is an amazing guitar player. And uh, Scott Gorham, of course, is amazing. And so you have, of course, the, the, the uh, you know, recognizable Thin Lizzy double guitar harmony attack is here all over this record. And uh, it just sounds great. And I just think that there are a lot of great songs on this record. I think one of the things that uh, makes Thin Lizzy really unique is, is the double guitar attack fills unique uh, vocal style, more of a baritone type voice rather than the, uh, you know, Robert Plant or Ian Gillen shrieking up really high. Uh, the fantastic songwriting, uh, mostly Phil Linet. There are some other uh, co-writes on here. Uh, and, uh, you know, the great songs, the way, and Phil's vocal uh, delivery, his sort of storytelling, the way his phrasing everything is very conversational, the way he sings. And I think that that is just great and really makes Thin Lizzy stand out from the pack. All right, the album opens with Do Anything You Want To. Great uh, rocking kind of opener. I love sort of the drum feel in it, the moving chord progression. Thin Lizzy was great at having like, like you think of the boys are back in town and they do this a lot where there's just a lot of a nice moving chord progression rather than just like them having a riff and just jamming on that one riff. Uh, they did this a lot, Phil did this a lot with his songwriting, and I just think it's really creative, and it shows in this song here. Uh, great song. Uh, next, Toughest Street in Town. I've always liked this. It's got a really great, like, sort of rocking feel. I love the chorus in this. This is the toughest. I think it's a great, great chorus. I just love the way Phil enunciates his words and phrases his lines. Uh, he just it's it, the background vocals and sometimes Phil will sing a little bit behind the background vocals like coming into the I think it's the last chorus he he like instead of this is the toughest he he like backs off a little this is the toughest he sort of holds it back a little bit and I just think that's just so awesome man the, the, his phrasing and it just adds that little bit of dynamic and color and difference to the to the verses and stuff and this is a co-write with. Uh, Gary and Scott Gorham, uh, you know, and Phil there on that one. Next, S&M, which is a fun kind of, uh, you know, fun, kind of funny lyrics. Brian Downey, Phil Linet on the writing credits for this one. Uh, the lyrics are, are fun. And it's got a thing that Phil does often on the bass. The, he, his bass has a flanger effect on it. And I believe also a chorus effect, which gives it this sort of unique... Uh, sort of sustainy kind of uh, unique sound to it and the bass kind of drives this one else has like a funky uh, beat to it bump, bump, bump. and Phil was also what all, a lot of times he would play the bass note but then play like dead notes on his bass it was like bump, 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 bump. and that effect that he had would give it like this like rolling type of sound which is just really cool 
Waiting for an owl by awesome, uh, great upbeat rocker. Sarah is a beautiful ballad, a line it and more writing credit here dedicated to uh, his daughter. Just beautiful. Phil was so good at having great rockers. You know, t this is the toughest street. Do anything you want to. And then he could pull it back here and have a really beautiful, gentle ballad. Got to give it up. Scott Gorm and Phil Linet on the lyrics here. Maybe this is Phil starting to, uh, you know, sing a little bit about his addictions and everything. Uh, get Out of Here is a cool uh, rocker. Uh, With Love is, is, is another really nice song, another Phil Linet song. And then the crown jewel of this album for me, the final one here, and I'm going to try to pronounce this correctly. I, I did another video where I mentioned this song and some people helped me with the pronunciation. Rogine Dub. Uh, this is Black Rose, a rock legend. And it's broken into a bunch of different parts here where uh, some of these are traditional arrangements. Shenandoah, uh, Will You Go, Lassie Go, Danny Boy, and The Mason's Apron. Uh, just amazing, man. The guitar playing, the melodies in here, just absolutely classic, absolutely amazing. What is this clock in at? Seven minutes and six seconds. Oh, the melody line's in it. Maybe it's that I'm 100% Irish and they sing to me. You know, I grew up with my parents playing Irish music in the house, so these melodies just strike a chord in my heart. They are just fantastic. The guitar playing is incredible. Love it. Phil's delivery here. Tell me the tales of long ago. The way he sings it, just incredible. I love it. Uh, just an amazing song. There's a video of like a Phil, uh, Phil, Phil tribute concert to Gary, Gary Morris sort of leading, singing the, singing the vocals on it. And when they go into this, that opening riff, man, I'm getting shivers up my spine, thinking of dun 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 Tell me the legends of old Ku Cullen. Oh man, this is great, I love it. I'm getting shivers up my spine just thinking about it. And that live performance from Gary is just fantastic. And I believe Scott comes out too and, and plays the guitar with him on this. Amazing, absolutely love it. One of my favorite uh, songs of all time. Uh, Phil, Thin Lizzy, uh, just amazing. And just to take this album out on this, it's one of my favorite Thin Lizzy songs. All right, so there you go, a uh, Black Rose, a rock legend. Let me know what you guys think of this album. I know I have a lot of Thin Lizzy fans out there. Is this one of your favorite uh, what do you think of the song uh, A Black Rose? Let me know what you think of that. What are some of your favorite songs off this record? And Gary Moore, what can you say about Gary Moore? Amazing, amazing guitar player. So bluesy and soulful. All right, let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of this record. And until we see you again, make sure you rock hard, ride free.